65% of people under 30 with student loan debt were at least 90 days late on their payments at the end of the year. That's according to the New York Federal Reserve. That is up almost 10% from four years ago. My next guest says his university has an answer to student debt with its pay-as-you-go model. Frank Britt is the CEO of Penn Foster. He comes to us live from Boston. And were you surprised at all by the fact that the student loan, uh, amount of student loan debt is just frankly skyrocketing and that it could hurt the economy? Does that surprise someone like you at all? No, in fact, uh, we, uh, we anticipate that problem is going to continue for the foreseeable future until uh, new and innovative options happen. But the student loan crisis is an acute one. It's approaching a trillion dollars. You point out accurately that default rates and delinquencies continue to increase. And there has to be a better way. Students cannot continue to uh, put themselves in harm's way. It's not good for the student. It's not good for the economy. You know, you are, uh, we should mention, by the way, you're owned by Bank Capital. You've got this new Boston office. I mean, it looks like Bank Capital believes that there is a future for you. And you're online, so this is more accessible for students. And they're just paying a one-time fee per month. But what's the dropout rate? I mean, you're not truly taking a chance on them sticking around for the entire program, are you? Well, we take the idea that a student has to go into debt in order to go to school as sort of antithetical to the reality of the way the world should work. We believe that students should have the opportunity to pay as they go. We think schools have a lower cost of capital than consumers do. And as a result of that, we think the students should be afforded an opportunity to pay as they complete the program. As they consume the education, they should be prepared to and comfortable with paying, but they shouldn't have to pay up front under the potential promise of getting a graduation or ultimately getting a job. So our graduation rates are very consistent with community colleges. Some of the programs we offer that are more hybrid based, which is both online and in a, in a physical setting, we have graduation rates in the 80, 85 percent rate. So we feel like mm -hmm. we offer a superior value to the student both in price as well as the ability to avoid uh, debt when they graduate. We finance about 130,000 students a year with zero percent APR financing. How many of those students that graduate? Uh, the graduation rates differ by program. If you're in the uh, veterinary program we have, uh, we have over 12,000 students in our veterinary program. It's the largest vet tech program in the United States. We have a very high graduation rate. Mm -hmm. uh, in some cases, by the way, it's worth noting that uh, while the goal is to ultimately go to school, the real objective is to get a job. And so we find some it students, is. as they go through the program, they figure out, and they I, need have the help. A, I have enough credentials, enough knowledge. I, I, before I let you go, really quick, I want to get your reaction to the fact that investors, many of them that are watching this show right now, have actually had a big interest in buying securities backed by student loans. And the, more, the higher the default rate, the more attractive the security for a lot of our viewers. What do you make of that, Frank? What does that mean to you? Well, I think, that, I think that the student loan market is not one thing. There are segments of the market by various cohorts, by different types of degrees. I think what you're finding is that uh, smart investors are taking a fresh look at the student loan marketplace and asking themselves, are there different ways and better ways to deliver value and do it in a way that drives returns for investors? So we see lots of innovation coming down the pipeline relative to how student loans will be managed, and that will create more opportunities for the students, will help the schools, and also provide opportunities for investors. Guess Bain Capital thought the same thing. Frank Britt, Frank, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you.